Hey guys, it's Pete and Amy again. Hi. So, we're going to launch this sucker. How's that sound? But first... Snacks for space! Oh, <laughs> I forgot to... I'm roasting a stick. You! Hey, you! <laughs> okay. Hold up. You're going to want to get the launch codes from the observatory first. I already got them, remember? Huh. Must be only... Wait Just as a, a heads up, in order to test how to save this game, Peter killed himself. So that, I'm gonna show that you might how be I did it too. We. influencing this dialogue. Okay, try again. There we go. Those All are, four of my eyes are Those are some me. hot rocks, man. Deadly hot rocks. And he doesn't care. Look at him. He's just like, I got sticks to push. <laughs> so... I guess, yeah, and then this happened while you were out of the room. All of my memories involve me waking up and jumping into a fire immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible Watch astronaut. us have a limited number of those we can do. Yeah. And we've, like, wasted four of them on setting <laughs> oh, ourselves God. on fire. I really hope not. Okay, here's where things are made. Ooh, look at this. Fancy. Anything around the ship first? No, don't be silly. Any... Step into the wiggly purple hula hoops and get into your ship. Fine. You did it. Oh. Yeah, no, I really did do Look it. Look at how goddamn folksy this ship is. Suit up. Ooh, view ship log. Been sitting here. Rumor mode? Huh? Oh. There's a rumor mode. The one only Hearthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flash before my eyes. Hal says the statue has never opened its eyes before, despite Ornfell's best efforts. Cave at the very center of Timber Earth, used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for Gosan. Great. Good job. This is rumor mode. Uh, so this is going to show you things we've been talk they've talked to us oh, about, I think. This is going to be like the strings going across, like trying to find, like, investigation stuff. This I is think. our conspiracy theory board? Yes. <laughs> okay. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Addle Rock. That's for right. lunar ruins. And then Gabbro okay. is going to be on that giant steep planet. Yeah. I'm back to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Okay. Well, if that's all there is to this universe, I mean, this should be quick. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, just right through the chair, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. View map. So I can view the map from in here, too. Okay. Um, Where do we want to go? Lift off landing camera. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I'm lifting off. Oh, now I'm lifting off. That's crazy! Well, that was easy peasy. Where to now? Hang on, it's loading. Right there. Oh, there's autopilot. Let's see what autopilot does. Well, I mean, doesn't it need to have a place to autopilot us to? I locked onto something. Oh, okay. We're going to Magma Planet? Okay, wait. Abort. Abort, abort, abort! Abort! Ah! Oh, everything's gone bad! Abort! Stop! Oh. Oh. The sun! <laughs> autopilot into the sun! Where's, uh... 
Where's, uh... Uh... Where's Gosan? Oh, thank God we can lock on from here. You mean Gabbro? Gabbro. I sent the scout out. That's interesting. Am I autopiloting? I think so. Because one of your options is to abort the autopilot. Okay. Oh, oh. weird. Is that a meteor? The thing with the blue tail? Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Okay, so... Will it, like, automatically rotate me, or...? Let's find out! <laughs> okay... Oh. Alright. Alright. What now? Go closer. Uh huh? It's just a perfect little marble. Sit down on this, it. This game is having problems. Uh... Uh... Oh, oh. no! Oh. Peter, you love them. Uh, is that- Oh, oh god, Amy. Peter. This is- Oh, don't go into it. Not good. Don't I go. have no oh. control. <laughs> this is not good at all. Oh, no. <laughs> this is very bad. I'm just gonna- Just gonna go in the water, I guess. I mean- That's fine. Good, I matched the velocity. Don't worry, everybody, I matched the velocity. <laughs> like... Okay, wait a second here. Go up. Get the hell up. That was the worst quick view of anything. Okay, okay. Alright. So it was saying he's on an island, right? Mm -hmm. Is that one of the things that was, like, rotating around? <laughs> Ooh, okay. That you was... can dunk back down on no, the planet. No, no, I'm trying to go around it. I'm trying to lock <laughs> onto one of those things. I mean, I think those are just satellites. I mean, it was letting me lock on before, though. I had the option. Okay. Oh. This is... This is horrifying! Like, look at this! I... I'm getting farther... farther away! How do I... Yeah, that's the right word. Go! Go! Ugh. No, not up! What is happening?! Oh, I, 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 I have no words. I mean, I mean, I'm up here now. Can you go back into the atmosphere of the planet, but try to just zoom around instead of plonking <laughs> into of the water? Instead of into the death ocean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could try that. We don't know that the ocean is death. It has not killed us yet. That's a good point. This is gonna be the whole episode, is me trying to land on this one thing. Yeah, well, maybe we'll just speed it up and play Benny Hill music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Slow down, slow down, slow yep. down. Yeah. Yep. Can 
can I land on this? I'm sorry, I'm not talking a lot, guys. I am... I have never concentrated more... Does the purple signify a place you can land? I think it might. Oh, that's a... There was a spot like that on the planet, too. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, with the loading. <laughs> oh my god, did I do it? Did I, I do it? I think so. Am I here? Yeah. All right, just. Oh my God, I landed. Ploop out the bottom of your. <laughs> oh my God. Whatever here. I've. I've never been so happy. I am very proud of you. Am honey. I in zero G right now? I think I'm in zero G. Okay. That's where you came from. Okay. Okay. I don't know how I did that, but I will take it. You did a great job. We're all proud of you. Oh, was the ship log updated? Thank goodness. Are you <laughs> mad at the ship log now? I mean, there are more pressing issues. Alright, stop moving. You know, every time you start this game, it says best played with a controller. I'm starting to disagree with it a lot. Ooh. Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled. What even? Where? How? I don't know what's going on. Uh. Launch of Oh, that's the scout launcher. How do I pull the translator out? Somebody's whistling. Very far away. Oh, the second circle's about to... Everybody's okay. out there, and they're all playing a song together. That's kind of beautiful. Go check here. out the glowy things on the desks. I just want to see what this does. Hang on okay. A second here. Whoops. Oh, this is a room. Oh, now I've done it. Now I've done it. Okay. <laughs> All right. How? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come back. Thanks. Um. Weird, interesting. So I just have a camera, or I have a remote camera. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Fine. Sure. No, I'm here now. No, no, it's great. Everything's good. Keep doing it. Great job. Move it. The other stuff went away, though. I can only do one at a time here. So. Oh. It's breaking? Can we... Can oh. we... Oh. Oh, ho. Hey, ho. Launch probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Uh, probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Uh, orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Okay. So wait a minute then. Let me put this back to the other one it was at. Let me let the whole thing load and see if I get something else from it. Yeah. 
No. Ah, oh, looked at it. All right, fine. There. Okay. 12 minutes, 14 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory, gravity field activated. Okay. What happens if I put it in this one? This seems to be a thing. This is where it started. Oh, is that it? where it came from? Okay. Okay, so we already did that one. We already did that one. Probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. And that's it. Okay. So. This. This. Cannon. Yeah. Is missing. Oh. Oh. That, maybe? Stand eye again. Oh, oh boy. Now we're a goo man? <laughs> Not a goo man. What am I even seeing? I think that's a tree? Look straight up. Oh. I can't take any equipment out here. So that's something that already happened. Yeah. And that was saying it's a launch module what? Um, projection stone. Okay. Uh, can we look outside the windows from here? See if we see something going on. It looks like things breaking and falling apart. Yeah. Oh, there's the... Is that the cracked window? Oh, yeah, look at that. Is that another stone? Oh, I'm... Okay. Huh. Weird. Um, is there something else over here? Yeah, here's more stuff. Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Oh. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasaba. Uh, tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Wish I were my friend, but no, they are certain they can fix the problems. So the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. So... Ha ha! Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, will know the eye's precise location. Uh, Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging research increases my heart's temperature, my love. I see, and I am right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting. <laughs> Giving the Orgable Probe Cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance at finding the eye of the universe. I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Oh my god. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Okay, so... So, it sounds like they're trying to find the very center of the universe. Yeah. Which... Oh. Weird. 
this might be... I don't know. I'm not going to be able to scan that. Okay. I am going to collect these projection stones just in one spot. Okay. In case we need them. That's interesting. I really enjoyed how that was done. So if our scientists have observed all uh, all uh, space objects moving away from us, mm -hmm. then that would suggest that we're closer to the center, I suppose? I think that's a pretty good theory, yeah. Um, I think there's ev that's everything to do here. Although, that being said, if the things on the outermost edge move faster than the things in the center, even if you weren't in the center, you'd uh, observe everything appearing to go further away. I'm confused. I'm just sitting here trying to picture it. <laughs> anyway. Whoop. All right, well, I... You're going here now. Oh, there's nothing in this one. It seemed like which the door we went in had different effects, so I want to visit all of them. And if we're supposed to be trying to find... St like, if there's a time loop, I'm assuming we're supposed to be trying to uh, find things. Oh. Launch module. Neat. So... <laughs> That's the launch module I'm door. assuming we're supposed to be trying to find things and learn things. Yeah. So we just learned, don't use too much power in the cannon. Uh-huh. Probe tracking module. Ah, okay. Have we been to the launch module yet? I don't think so. Can we get in here? Can you push against that? Oh, uh, okay. Piao. I think we need to angle it so we thread the needle here. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Can you turn the camera around once it attaches? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, the loading on this. Is it going right out? Yep, it's gone. Okay, let's try. What? No. All right. I'm just trying to stop moving. Every time I shoot it, it launches me back a little bit. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I want to go there. Yeah. All right. All right, so where's another, like, adjustment of any kind that we can make? What's that? Is that where you just came from? Um, have I translated this one? Control module. I don't we think We haven't gone that way, then. From. I don't think. I like that. It scared me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Is this not... Oh, this is... That was not my intent. You're in the goo pool. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Giant steep. Launch module. Oh, this, oh, this is, is where I was. This is the one we were in. Damn it! <sighs> 
Okay, so we've seen control. We've seen launch room or whatever. All right. So then what's the one we haven't gone to? Wasting everybody's time over here. Uh, I mean, somebody's got to. That's launch. Probe tracking. All right, let's try it. Never mind. It's space. I mean, I'm still gonna go out here. Uh... Can I get somewhere like... Oh, this is where it actually fires, I think. That could be. Interesting. Okay. Well, which one was blocked off that we were trying to fire the probe to? Because there was a crack in the window. I'd be able to That's get in true. over there. That's true. I have no sense of where I am. There? Maybe? That one? I don't... That looks like a hole in glass. See? Oh, oh. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm trying. Trust me, I'm trying. <laughs> I am trying everything I can. Yes. Okay. I'm like literally bending to the side to try and see in. Yeah. Is okay. this where we just were? No. This is the one with the hole in it. As you can see, as evidenced by the hole in it. What just happened? What? But, but, but why? So... Am I on, like, a time limit or something? Also, is the game still playing? Jeez. So... I'm under the impression that we get 22 minutes before the sun blows up. I think by killing ourselves and restarting on the planet, we may have missed a cutscene or something. Oh, I'm going to doze off because I've never done that before. Wow. Oh. That's interesting. So you can push time forward on this planet then. Okay, and yeah, I'm sure the log is just crazy full of stuff now. Oh, I just want all these stupid exclamation points to go away. So, wait a minute. What were we just trying to do, Control? Uh, we... Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can mark them from that. Okay. Which is really nice. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have looked. I was just trying to look my with my eyes, not with the ship. What? I, I looked like this and it rotated the whole ship. Oh. So I like your idea of using autopilot to get into at least like the... the area of the planet. Was that my idea? I thought it was. Okay. <laughs> unbuckle. Oh, I can unbuckle while it's flying. If Weird. you have a long way to go. 
Which right now you do not, but... No. I don't know what I would do. Okay, are you gonna try and land on this thing again? Yeah. Alright. I gotta... Okay. Velocity matched. Whoa. This game! Either the game or my hard drive. One of the two. Okay, so I have to get to the landing part of it. There it is. Help! <laughs> Christmas. Really? Who knew you were so floaty in space? I didn't. Okay. Come on. Oh, I like our little directional doohickey on our uh, dash there. Yeah. Showing where your thrusters are going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank God you don't have to be 100% perfect at that. <laughs> because, holy shit, that is really difficult. Whoops. Bloop. Okay, so how did we get to control then? Uh, go through this. And actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go through this, turn around, and see if there's a, like, label on it. All right, there's none. No. Um, there is something on this one, though. Yeah, I think that's the whatever tracking. Probe tracking. Oh, wait a minute. We lose the language that we've learned when we die? Maybe. I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think it's that egregious. I'm sitting here with my mouth hanging open, by the way. I genuinely don't think it's a problem. I mean, like, we knew what these were. We don't have to have the labels. Yeah. Oh, we can just go to the control module now? Yeah, I guess that's true. I'm just a completionist. I want my I want my dictionary completed. Okay. So this is where the world blew up, right? Huh? Where's Oh no, this is the control okay. This is the one we've been in and done a lot in. Okay. I'm getting extremely turned around. I don't want anything locked on anymore. I really I don't have a choice, I guess. Okay, so where am I going? Uh, we need to go through the one that just led out into space, which I so think is that, that one. one. And then... We need to circle around to the one with the crack in its wall. Okay. Which, yeah. Quite a shadow, that was weird. Stop no. moving. I'm trying. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Stop. Stop moving. Stop. Oh my god. No. We just gonna fly into space? <laughs> Ser seriously, this is... Why am I having so many problems with this? I, you're, if judging by what I'm seeing on the screen, I think you're just overcorrecting. I'm also trying to match the velocity, but it's not doing it. Oh. Oh my god, I'm almost out of fuel already, too. What's, what is happening? Oh, did I get sucked into a planet? Oh no! Oh, it's this place! Oh, this could not have gone worse. <laughs> oh no. Well, whatever. Look for a uh, look for an island. It's not gonna be underwater. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm trying. laughs>
<laughs> oh, no. oh, this is so bad. <laughs> this. Ah. So it's a rough start. <laughs> this is this is tough. I'm having a really hard time with this. Here, I'm just gonna go down. What's down here? This looks safe. Are you actually going any closer? I, I mean, I think I am. There's something red and angry over there. Oh, maybe I'm not now. Maybe that's as low as I could go. Oh my, this is so hard. Uh, islands. There you uh. go. Little chunk of rock. Oh, that's the chunk of rock you're supposed to land your ship on. I I literally cannot. I can't catch it. I mean, the current is taking me away. You I don't. I don't know what to you do. You can't jump free of the water. No. I've got my rocket thing on. I'm using the rocket boot. Like it's just. It's not working. I can't get out. Hello, my ship. And you can't, like, swim? I mean, I'm kind of moving? I feel like I have no control over this I love that you all. can see on the planet your pathway around. You've already circled one time. Yeah, well, I love how I can't control it. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anything down there? Here, where's my ship? Ooh, what's that? It's like a scary tree. That's cool. Like, I seriously, I can't get over there. I can't get anywhere. I believe in you. Amy, it's floating away like our fuse. You're getting closer. You only have three minutes of oxygen remaining. Here we go. I mean, can I get up here? Oh, yeah. thank God. Oh my God. Oh, just in time to die. Yeah, you don't need fuel. You just need to hang out on the scary tree. I straight up, like, I can't even fly anymore. This looks like fun. Um, I It's 1.8 gravity. I think that's probably why it's too much gravity. Yeah. Hmm. Like. Well, here, send a, send a probe up that scary tree. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, <laughs> that helped a lot. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So it really is just a scary tree. Um, can we jump to the water and climb up that rock? Oh! Oh, and there's... Oh. Are you falling off this rock? Oh, God! <laughs> And there's freaking ghost matter. Wow. It's a rough day for- do we have a name? I don't know. Okay, Ooh, so- That looks like a tunnel. Yeah, with ghost it's matter like in ghost it. Ghost matter. Let's so just try and go where there's not ghost matter. Alright. Okay. Look at this thing you've found. 
good. Very interesting. Are you somehow now in an icy place? Whoa, whoa. Wh what? Oh. What? I genuinely don't know what just what happened. What just there. happened? Okay, you know what? Let's try let's let's try a different planet. <laughs> All right. Hear me out. I'm so confused. Let's try a starter planet. Was that not a starter planet? Who knows. Um <sighs> How about, is there like a moon to our planet? I think so, yeah. Let's try that. Okay. Hey, you got any advice? Hey, you're lucky I'm in a time loop. You're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. Fair. Fair. What in the world? Okay. Ooh. Gear options. Oh. It's literally just the controls. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even get any, like, new entries for that or anything. Okay. Buckle up. There. Okay. Should we do should we try that? Yeah. Did I actually lock onto it? Who knows? I don't see it showing up. I did. Okay. Calm and careful. That's our name. Where is the landing point? Indeed. I mean, it might just be that big crater. Yeah. Hey, trees. Oh, hey, it's the title screen. I don't think there's any room to land in there, though. I think you just need to get closer. There, that looks like a landing pad. <laughs> uh, alright. <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah, sure, great. We're here. <laughs> Am I actually, like... This doesn't seem safe to me. Oh my god! Like, it actually worked! Yeah. Extra signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rybeck's banjo for Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell... Porphy and Goss and their flirting is not suitable from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming loud and clear today. Sounds like Redbeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88, it's still there. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better talk to Nice. Okay, right. so we could hunt that down at some point.
Oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> eh, whatever. Like you said, it can't be him. Okay, so where was... Ah, here's the campsite. I think. Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Uh, did the other travelers come by? The lunar outposts saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chirk comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, is there anything else you wanted to ask? Oh, he's, he's lonely. Aww. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hernfels and Gossam mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, what is going on with the lighting? Hmm. And they usually do. I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. It's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Um, is that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with the signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Ah, very funny. Oh, stars above you. Serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Well, welcome to Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, uh, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from the timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Okay. Okay. Wow, I hit the button for flashlight and it had to load. Don't buy hybrid hard drives, anyone. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna say that for in every episode until I move my stuff. Alright, well, I mean, at least that wasn't deadly. Yeah. So I'm assuming after everything blows up, we still keep like all the information that was in our log. I guess. I guess. Here. I mean, I'll... Oh, I'm wearing my suit. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I kept everything else. Okay. Esker's growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone for too long. Lookout platform with spectacular view. So this is basically everything we just did. Yep. Signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere in Timber Hearth. <laughs> Alright. I wish we had a, a thing telling us how long we're into the 22 minutes. A timer, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you want to try finding the harmonica signal? Uh, sure. I'll head over there. I'm pretty sure we're dead before we even make it to the planet, though. Um... I'm wondering if the sun actually gets, like, bigger. I don't know. Oh, the interloper. Um, where is Timberhearth? It's right next... That's oh, the planet right you there. started on. Oh! That's where the harmonica's coming from? We heard it when we were there. Yeah, but I thought it was just the wall was in the way or something. Oh, no, I, th I think it's a... It's a mystery. Okay. And I mean, we've only seen our village. There's other stuff on that planet. Yeah. Is that yeah. where we started? It, maybe? Yeah, probably. Crap, what is Just happening? sit down wherever. There. Okay. That looks good. Right on that bush. <laughs> Jeez. Bonk! Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. 
I did not realize the scope of these planets. So, grab that signal scope and let's... It's getting further away. I think that's something else. Oh. Esker. That's Esker. There it is. 329 meters. That's foreboding as hell now. Oh, I'm seeing a couple different things. Interesting. Because they're like perfectly lined up. Yeah. You're going to fall into your village, aren't you? Where'd it go? <laughs> oh my god. No, look. Okay. Tektite? This is a Zelda character. They're taking that Tinkin Ears into space today. What are you still doing here? Mia yeah, saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures the little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Crashed. I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of planet seed, but not anything I've seen on Timber Earth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. You think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might have come off a of dark bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the looks of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll send Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. Uh, I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to send anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. <laughs> Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. In any way, I'm not going blindly stick my hands in anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. Let's get ready to lose an arm or two. Oh. So he's in there. I mean, it's in there. Weird. What is that? I mean, it looks like a view of this thing from the outside. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> I like how he ducked. This is interesting. I really like how they did this. Hey, I got past it. Error duplicate signal. Is it coming back? It says the scout's like getting closer. Oh, it stopped. Huh. Weird. Jump on in. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ow! Oh! Well, it Wait. was worth a shot. That's interesting. I don't know how on earth we're getting What's back to What's around the ship. back here? The anus of the thing? Ah, the anus has harmonica in it. You want to shoot another scout up there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that terminology. <laughs> ah. Backwards. Yeah. Oh, look, there's trees. Is that a campsite down there? I think it is. In the bottom right corner? Yeah. 
Oh, there's somebody camped inside that. Bet it's Feldspar. Can you talk to that guy? Be like, hey. Oh, yeah. This is some fucked up shit, man. Lights have seen a lot of damage when it crashed. I like this crater. I threw a little scout in. You did? Tell me it's bigger on the inside than the outside? This is going to be a chore to chop up and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? <laughs> Maybe I better grab an extra axe or three just in case. Inside the seed? I don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know is Feldspar and they disappeared ages ago. Listen here, don't go telling nice about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn seat if they suspect there's any musical talent. <laughs> Back in my younger days, I explored everywhere there is to go on Timberhearth and saw everything there is to see, and then some. Trust me, we don't have anything like this. Now, I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble if it's anywhere from anywhere, Hatchling. All right, so the question yeah. is, how do we get inside that thing? How do we get back to the ship? I mean, it's going to time out pretty soon. Yeah, the world's going to end. Oh, it is getting brighter, isn't it? That's crazy. Okay. So it's some kind of weird timey-wimey seed thing. All right, oh. well, I'm bad at jumping. Okay, so I can't actually take off because of the gravity. I think this is actually how you are supposed to get out. Well, then! Hey, it worked. Okay, the booster still works. Takes up a lot of fuel, though. Is there anything inside that copse of trees? Nope, just trees. Yeah, just trees. Yeah, shooting star. Wow. <laughs> he just got shipped. Yep. Alright, let's fly into the sun. Should, should we? <laughs> I mean, we might as well at this point. What's the new thing? Oh, then it's, it's just exactly what we just went through. Oh, he's, okay. He's just logging everything that we saw. I wonder what the significance is of gray versus green. I wonder if green is referring to mystery or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely exploding sun. Here's a good way to end the episode. Oh my god, why? What is happening? Let's land on the sun. I mean... Oh, Christmas! Well, this is over. There we go. <laughs> okay, well, that episode was... Was movement practice. Yeah. Is what that was. Well, we found, we found a thing. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining us. <laughs> We're just going to respawn. BRB respawning life. Uh... I hope you will... Join us again as we explore the universe. <gasps> and roast marshmallows. And roast marshmallows. We always have to roast marshmallows. And explode like in this. the sun. I always... Oh my god, can you stop your ship and then roast a marshmallow on the sun? Oh my god. <laughs> that would be amazing. If you can't, you should be able to. Alright, well that's our goal yeah. now. <laughs> okay, cool. We will be back as always. Thank you for joining us.